LCBO stores are now closed and thousands of staff are now on strike, marking a first in the Crown Corporation's history. Let's check back in this morning, right? Check back in right now with Courtney Heels live uh, with more on the sticking points in these negotiations here, Courtney. And, uh, you know, the union is pitching this as a dry summer, but the government keeps pointing out the multitude of options. Yeah, and I mean, there are other options for people who typically go to the LCBO. For example, if you go to the LCBO to pick up wine, you can still go to the wine shop. Those stores still open. You can pick up wine in the grocery store. Uh, but when it comes to specifics, and even I heard this yesterday, people saying, you know, the knowledge of some of the, the product, the wines at the LCBO, well, that won't be an option because all of these stores are going to be closed right across the province today and for the next 14 days because the employees are now on strike. Uh, we can also tell you this morning, uh, some of those workers are out on the picket line. They've been out on the picket lines overnight over in Whitby. We had our helicopter over one of the LCBO distribution centers uh, about 15 minutes or so ago, and you can see some of the picket lines uh, set up at the entrances there. Now, what we heard from the LCBO as a result of this strike action, they say that they will continue to fill orders uh, through the warehouses and distribution centers for restaurants and bars. But we've also heard from some of those establishments saying, well, they have concerns that picket lines could still slow things down. When it comes to the actual negotiations, the uh, the, the union that is, OPSU, representing these employees and the LCBO. They've been talking for several months now, but the talks broke down yesterday. Uh, the union saying they didn't feel like they were making any progress. That's why they decided to walk away. And a big sticking point here is the fact that the province is planning to expand alcohol sales into convenience stores and other locations later on this year as of September. The union saying uh, that uh, certainly raises questions when it comes to job stability. I'll let you hear from OPSU uh, talking about the impact here of this strike going forward we put forward a plan that would see the LCBO grow with Ontario so that our public revenues grow too we told Premier Ford he was welcome to our bargaining table and to avoid a dry summer by making a fair offer we see the writing on the wall under Ford's plan we could lose thousands thousands of jobs and millions of dollars in public revenues. We said that to the employer, and you know what they said back? We can't guarantee your future. Now, here's what the finance minister, Peter Bethenfalvi's office, is saying about the talk negotiations and the fact that they have broken down, saying just yesterday they're disappointed by OPS's decision to walk away from the bargaining table hours before their deadline. Also going on to say we are more committed than ever to fulfilling our promise of choice and convenience by expanding access to beer, cider, wine, and ready-to-drink beverages in convenience, grocery, and big box stores starting later this summer. So if there's something specific you usually rely on at the LCBO, for example, a vintage wine or, or hard liquor, well, you are out of luck because the LCBO won't be open. The actual stores, that is, there is the option to go online, but it's not exactly clear how quickly you could get access to that alcohol. And the message from the union, they are very concerned about the state of the negotiations and the future of the LCBO. That's why they say they're, they're taking a, a first step here. The LCBO has never gone on strike before, so they say they are walking off the job. We're talking about close to 9,000 LCBO workers. These LCBO stores will be closed for at least two weeks, guys. Uh, this morning, we are still working to get an update from the union and the province on where we go from here. Over to you guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, CP24's Courtney Hills reporting live for us outside of this now closed LCBO near Queens Key. Thank you.